Hi, my name is Juan Mendez and I'm gonna show you my favorite program for cheating in single player games. This is Cheat Engine. For example, if we are playing Final Fantasy XII and things get tough, we need a little bit of help. So, uh, we can edit numbers like the experience that this character needs for reaching a new level. Uh, the mouse is disabled in game, so I play. I click this. Um, for example, this is the experience that Van this character has, and this is the experience he needs for reaching level 10 and become stronger. So we can use this program for editing the memory address where the experience is held, stored, and modify it as we like. So first of all, we can download the program in our browser, in cheatengine.org. We already have it, and the installation process is very easy, it's next, 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 and complete. Well, once we it, it's, it's open, okay, we got it, we have to search the game, in this case it is here. Mm to open it and access its memory. Well, let's cheat. Uh, <laughs> the experience number, we have to copy it and manually write it here. We have to do a first scan to search every memory access that has that value, every one of this. As they are too many memory addresses, we don't know which is the correct one to change the value, so we have to do another search, another scan, and for this we have to modify this one. Check this. Um, to earn some experience we have to fight monsters and kill them and we have to search for one of them. For example, these bats. Let's kill them. In a moment. One. It's done. Uh, well, now, this character has more experience, so we have to copy the actual number, the actual value, to the scan. Mm -hmm. Once it, ha it has changed, we do a next scan. Here is it. Now we have three memory addresses. We can do as many next scan as we need, but this, this time I will trust. I will take these three and take them below, here. Um, I select the, both of them, the three addresses, and modify them with Enter. Uh, for example, I will put a lot of names to uh, earn a lot of levels, it's uh, absurd. So. I have changed the value, so now, if I modify again the experience, it will uh, update. For this I have to kill another monster. Fast forward. As you can see, you now it's level 47. It, it's been too fast. One moment. No. Now it's done. Condition: uh, Our character Van is now 47 levels. It has a, a bunch, a lot of experience, a absolute experience. So now it's hyper strong. Uh, we can play almost the end of the game with this. It's absolute. It's overpowered. It's well. Um, now it will be, will be more e easier. Absolutely easier. Another thing we can change is the money, which is in this part of the screen. For this we can do 
the same process I have to exit this dungeon let me check the map now uh, I'll do fast forward to reach the exit sooner uh, we we are going to a shop in the shop we can sell or buy an object and then the money will change and do the same to change the value of the money this is the shop um, first of all I will scan the actual value of the money new scan for this uh, new scan uh, I don't mind this it's not important I can delete the previous addresses because it's done uh, first scan will be let me check Mm -hmm. This, this guys is the currency. The first scan. There are a lot of of addresses, so I will do a change. I will sell or buy something. For example, this man. I can buy this onion arrows. I'll spend money. Clean. it's done and now this is the new value of my money I do a next scan next scan now it's filtered there are two of them two addresses it's okay I will change this to for example euro jackpot uh, a lot of a lot of money it's done I'll do another modification to ah uh, it it's uh, I don't need it it's already changed so now I have a lot of money I can buy a lot of the best weapons of each moment of the game and it it's overpowered again it's whatever I got a lot of money so well that's all. Mm. This is not only for games, also for changing any memory address of a program you need. In any case, you only have to make variations. <laughs> Change the values and search for them. And that's all. It's very easy and very helpful when the game becomes difficult and you want to chill a bit. So that's all. See you.